Hey Blender Files, SDN with me, Shubham from Blender File, and this is Node Concept. And today we have a Musgrave Texture Node. And yeah, it's basically an advanced noise texture. And yeah, we could have you know, clubbed this with the noise texture, but you know, it's a big texture and it you know, can take up a tutorial on its own. So we just separated it from those two. So yeah, let's begin. Uh, we have a small scene set up done over here already, which is a plane, and uh, yeah, just begin. So, uh, new material, and shift S texture, and, and with that, my friend, there it is. Okay, oh uh, yes, I'm coming. Oh yeah, so his phone is ringing, and I'll continue. So the must wave texture, so if we just plug it into the viewer and delete this diffuse, so you can see its color output is also a black and white image so it's basically used as an FAC which is also the same thing where it produces the same results okay so we'll be talking about the FAC value only because black and white and as discussed black is zero white is one and all that so first of all is this type so there are many different types heteroterrain, FBM, hybrid multifractal, rigged multifractal and multifractal and these are just different ways to calculate this Musgrave texture like you can see around the edges this is way too bright and here the edges are more prominent and FBM is a default one and yeah so scale which is the scale of the texture detail and if you just zoom in you can see the details it's very blurry here and if I increase the detail it's very sharp and then there are other properties such as dimension, lapillarity, lacunarity, offset and gain which don't affect FBM much so uh, I'll just switch this over to rigged multifractal and here if I just change this offset so you can see the edges which if I increase the offset they just thicken the edges as a whole like here if I press shift and gain it spreads the dark areas of the, the bright areas of the edges where the edges are really thick let's see if I can find such a spot no apparently not maybe decrease the scale no nope, but yeah so these properties you usually would like to play around with them and they produce different results and actually if you go deep into their scientific meaning you won't understand anything and if lacunarity affects somewhat in the initial values but after a fixed value it does not affect at all anything but if it's way too small like 0 and 1 then it's quite a difference between them so the default value is usually ok and then there is also a good node setup which can really help you so I'll just add in another Musgrave texture with the default values and a math node and duplicate this one change this to multiply connect these 0.3 1.5 oh I have to connect this also and and now if I just change some values here so if you so if you can see it's a really good noise texture and it's better than a noise texture node because it's quite advanced and you can use this to create I don't know, the surface of a sun or some planets so let me just add in a UV sphere and the same material so UV sphere I can just put this into strength maybe change the color this may not look good I can just another multiply you can just play around with this that's basically what texture nodes are for just playing around depending upon the situation you need and this is actually quite good maybe some more word easy so yeah sun surface you can imagine and if I had a plane 
So you can see it's actually emitting light because of the VO node which is actually an emission node. And yeah, that's it. Alright, yeah, so yeah, I am back. My mom was calling for some reasons. And yeah, she took over. So yeah, great, thanks. And yeah, I don't need to focus on these add and multiply nodes at the moment. These are also value nodes, of course, but we'll be discussing them later. Oh, that looks like lava. <laughs> Alright, so uh, that's basically it tutorial. I hope you learned something and uh, you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash blendfiles for our next tutorials and tip of the weeks. And yeah, uh, you can stay, uh, you can subscribe to stay tuned for the, you know, the upcoming tutorials and I hope to see you in our next tutorial. Bye!